Brought to you by Phillips 66 Aviation, the most trusted wings in aviation. And by Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck VFR. See the difference at AirVenture 2013. Glenn Pugh for AvWeb.com reporting from AirVenture 2013, where Aviat Aircraft debuted what it's calling a world's first dual-fuel-powered general aviation airplane. The aircraft is a test bed for burning natural gas, and Aviat says the results look good so far. Here's Stu Horn with more. Uh, what we've done to create uh, and demonstrate this proof of concept airplane is integrate compressed natural gas technology, automotive technology, and aviation technology, specifically as it relates to energy and fuel management integration into an airplane. And uh, this, this airplane can transfer from low lead fuel to compressed natural gas fuel simply by uh, pulling of a lever and turning on of a switch. We were looking to see uh, what advantages or disadvantages were potentially available in an airplane powered and fueled with compressed natural gas. It's been a success in all measurable empirical categories. Compressed natural gas has significant advantages in terms of service, maintenance, operational cost, performance we get better performance uh, than 100 low lead. So in any given parameter, so if we look at cylinder head temperatures or exhaust head temperatures, we're at, at a given fuel flow equivalent, we're 30 degrees cooler. Um, at a given power setting, uh, where we have one gallon per hour more efficiency. So if we burned eight, historically. Now we're burning seven gallons per hour. This is a four-cylinder fuel-injected Lycoming engine. It's an IO360. Uh, that would vary uh, that efficiency with different size engines. Today, on average, Aviation 100 low lead fuel costs approximately six dollars a gallon retail. Uh, we have a nine gallon equivalent fuel tank in this airplane and we fill this tank up for eleven dollars. Contaminants which are common in 100 low lead aviation fuel, such as lead and other chemicals, there's no lead or chemicals like that in compressed natural gas. So environmentally it's very friendly. 100 low lead aviation fuel has 100 octane. Compressed natural gas has 138 octane. So for a cubic volume of energy, we actually have more energy potential in the compressed natural gas. As a result, we can purpose build airplane engines to capture the efficiencies of that higher energy contained in this fuel. And uh, with the resources we have, with the technology we know, uh, we do see the benefits that I prior described. Low cost, low maintenance, higher utility efficiency, uh, availability right now. We don't need anything special to capture this type of fuel is an energy source or the benefits from it. Brought to you by the Sennheiser S1 family of aviation headsets. See us at AirVenture booth number 288. And by XMWX Satellite Weather. Full perspective on any device you choose. Come see the latest at AirVenture booth 3037.